Hey, what's going on, Storm Watchers? Uh, pretty much, this is a video. I know, like some of y'all who even still stuck around, was eventually was going to expect. And honestly, I meant to do this earlier, but uh, if I'm going to keep it a hundred with y'all, um, for real, uh, <laughs> I just wasn't feeling like it at the time. But now, you know, I kind of do now, and you know ready actually you know, like you know say some stuff that's been going on last year and all that you know what I'm saying and stuff like that and you know as well as I discuss you know my personal reflection back on the 2020 and just a reflect just a perspective on it period you know it's a new year now so yeah I mean I ain't those like new year revolution niggas it's like oh I'm gonna change my whole fucking mentality of how I think because I'm like it's never too late for you to change or to do better or improve yourself etc uh, I'm just saying this is just my personal little perspective I'm just giving my little personal perspective on uh, last year and you know maybe some updates and what maybe what I'm maybe up to my scheduling you know all that type of stuff you know because I may not be around anymore on YouTube, but really, I actually really do love doing, like, little vlogs and, you know, uh, analytical breakdowns and shit. You know, just talking about good movies, bad movies, good shows, bad shows. You know what I'm just saying, bro. And, you know, little commemoratives and shit, you know, and, and, and obituaries for, like, celebrities or, like, you know, just in general people I care for who just passed away and shit. You know, show respect and stuff because, you know... Some of those people, you know, kind of actually inspired me to, you know, pursue all the careers I wanted, like songwriting and drawing and, and and vlogs and, you know, probably even critiques and shit. Like, you know, that's pretty much like the first fucking thing I'll do when I, once I once I get out of college is like, you know, get like a minimum wage job, like being a simple, uh, 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 you know, critique, well, not like a full-blown critic. But, you know, like, writing simple, like, journal pages and shit. Really, you know, really subjective things, of course, you know. Uh, I mean, objective, my bad. I always get those two confused. But, yeah, you, you get it. But uh, that, that's enough about, you know, my whole little situation and shit. And you already know the other reason why I'm never around. Uh, I pretty much sit in, like, hundreds of videos on YouTube. So, yeah, you know, for anyone who ever stuck around, of course, you can already know. The other reason why I'm never, you know, around. But that's besides the point. Well, I know this is going to be, like, really fucking generic to say uh, what I'm going to say. Because, like, hundreds of people have already said it's about 2020. But I'm going to say it any fucking way. 2020 fucking sucked. Boom. But here's the thing now. Here's the funny thing. 2020 suck. They, they, they ain't no way putting it generally. I mean, if you talk about like, if you talk about how I was just so distaste and, and just so, you know, mournful about all the celebrities that passed away in uh, 2018, just, it seemed like niggas in 2020 was just dropping like flies. Like, we had Kobe Bryant and we had Lil Richie, uh, Chadwick Boseman. Uh, Sean Connery dad and uh, the guy from uh, Jeopardy dad and you know it's just like back and forth like like you know kind of like how I said like in 2018 like it just seemed like everyone like like every day someone which is was found drop uh, that was found dead like at first it was Matt it was at XX X and then you know it was uh it was Mac Miller and it was Mac Miller, and it was, uh, then it was Stan Lee, then the next day, the literal next day, um, that may be an exaggeration, but yeah, the literal next day was fucking, uh, it was fucking, um, Steven Hillenberg, the creator of Spongebob, and yeah, it's literally kind of what, uh, this year kind of felt like, it's just like, by the day, it's like someone was just, you know, fucking dying, and all that, and, you know, I'm just saying, like, I feel like we just lost us a lot of good uh, brothers, bro, this year. Mostly Chadwick Boseman and, and Kobe Bryant and Lil Richie. But, yeah, we, just saying, like, the whole death shit, like, I thought people were dropping like flies in uh, 2018, but it seems like the bodies were just stacking up, like, in this one. Oh, 
I also mentioned uh, uh, Ben Stiller fall for dad too. Uh, the one from uh, the the, the, the uh, fall of um, King of Queens. You know, with Kevin James and shit. Yeah, the the the, the fall fall for that he died. Uh, ben still is dead. He, he dead too. I think if somewhere this this uh, yeah, I may be wrong, but you know that just only just proves my point. Just like how people was just you know kicking a bucket this year, and a lot of that shit just really kind of start getting to you. Especially Chadwick Boseman's death. Kobe Bryant, that shit was just like unexpected, like bird shit, and you know all that stuff. And then. And then but with Chadwick Boseman, that really kind of got me the most. It wasn't like crying and shit, but, you know, it, it got me, bro. It got me. Uh, Lil Richie, uh, that, that kind of got me, too. I ain't going to lie. Hit, shit. <laughs> Wobbly piece of shit. Yeah, that one kind of got me, too. I ain't going to lie. His death got me. But, you know, all that shit. And, well, you already know, like, the whole, uh, you know, uh, the um, the 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 uh, mad bat disease, yeah, yeah, mad mad bat disease. You know, it's kind of been like keeping anyone in and shit. And, you know, got us wearing you know shit like this and all that. And we still doing it now, like you know the quarantine's still going on. Like some people literally think you know all this shit would end in 2021. Like literally no bullshit. Like people's doing hashtags and. And shit on social media and all that. I'm like, bro, do you realize, you know, shit literally gets worse before it gets better? Like, you just simply putting all your eggs in one basket when you're saying shit like that. And quite frankly, from, you know, what's been going on, it's kind of been the case. And when I didn't think any more fucking celebrities that, more people I care for that, literally in the second fucking day of January, MF Doom died. I'm like, it's just, it's just always shit going on. And that one kind of got me too, bro. I actually thought, like, a little bit, I was, like, kind of, like, tearing up a little bit. I was, like, crying, but, like, when MF Doom died, I'm like, God damn, bro. I'm like, okay, at least one of his is impersonators. Like, no, it's actually him. Like, the the real McCoy, uh, MF Doom, he, he actually has gone. I'm like, damn. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, the uh, Mad Bat Disease, um... You know, got everyone inside and shit. I mean, yeah, I guess the only upside of the mad, the, the whole quarantine, well, not the virus itself, no, it's tragic. I mean, it's, it's from from literally here on, it's almost killed thousands of people at this point. The virus itself is not good. But, like, one of the benefits I guess I got from it was, like, I was able to, like, stay in all the time and sleep and shit. Like, I was able to recoup. You know, probably put more time in the hobbies I usually don't do, like, songwriting well that's when I you know used to do a lot when I was like you know seven, like 16 like I was writing raps and shit and just somewhere between it you know I kind of got discouraged like always keep going forward y'all don't, don't go the same route I went but you know I kind of got like a little discouraged and shit and so I just stopped song write, uh, writing songs for a while and you know over the time of quarantine that's pretty much what I've been doing like for a while it's just like like any rhyme that just came up in my head, I just wrote it in my notepad and shit. And like, you know, like, shit, I got a rhyme in my head. Now I wrote it down. Like, I mean, that was the only, I guess, upside about quarantine. I was able to, like, fucking, you know, put more time in the more mini, minimal hobbies I do usually. But yeah, there was that and shit. And, um, yeah, I guess that's, I mean, you know, that's kind of how it's been kind of been going. And, Recently, I'm, uh, I kind of got into Confu uh, uh, Confucianism, and myself, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like more or less studying it, so to speak. I'm kind of looking more into it, like Confu. I'm trying more or less I'm converting to Confucianism, like uh, I'm trying to be a Confucian, uh, uh, so to speak. And it's one thing. I mean, I may have butchered this proverb that he said, but with the quarantine, you know, I pretty much, you know, kind of apply what uh. Confucius said, and like, you, you always find the light, at, uh, always find like, you know, uh, an Elysium within, you know, a, a, a place of discord and, 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 uh, and uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? 
vileness, uh, for lack of better words, if you please, uh, the, the extra suffix, like, nah, nah don't, don't ever do that, y'all, but yeah, but pretty much, in a nutshell, you always gotta make the best out of a really fucked up entire situation, and that's pretty much what Confucius said, and I, I, me, myself, and I bet hundreds of other people could also apply that same shit, too, to the, you know, current events, you know, the whole quarantine and thing, and, Pretty much with that time spent, I just put that in a more minimal, you know, my more minimal and uh, 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 my more minimal uh, hobbies I do, and so there's that. And I was had enough time to sleep, so for the most part, I got more energy coming this <laughs> semester. And God, this shit flew by fast, <laughs> but yeah, that's about it and shit. Um, I know, I mean, uh, there's probably some broken promises I made about. I was going to review shit once, you know, everything kind of died down. Yeah, I forgot this camera's kind of in reverse. But, yeah, the webcam's in reverse. But, uh, yeah, I, I know I broke a lot of promises. But, you know, when I actually get to it and, like, you know, mood level, because, you know, if I'm just simply not in the mood, I just won't do anything. That's just how my fucking brain works. I know people say, you know, keep trying, you'll get better and all that shit. But uh, simply it's just, when I'm just not in the mood for it, I'm just not going to do it. Sorry, that's just how my brain works. And simply if I do force myself to do something, it's going to turn out really inadequate and unsatisfactory. So, you know, I don't like to, you know, just force shit. So, you know, when I get around to it. But uh, I really actually want to get into this, like, you know, whole video shit. Like, I really want to pursue it. You know, all that. And <laughs> I know I made broken promises and shit, but... You know, I've been kind of keeping up a little bit about, you know, like modern movies and shit. You know, like, uh, I saw Wonder Woman 84, and yes, I know, uh, I should get my fucking armor right now, because really what I'm about to say is, I kind of liked it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But, but hear, hear me out right quick. I liked it until the ending where, you know what, I'll just say before I actually review the shit, but... Yeah, it's just a pretty much an unpopular opinion I had about the film, and you know I pretty much knew that YouTube and the whole fucking internet would crucify you for it because of the whole you know controversy they had with Max Lord being a Donald Trump allegory, despite that nigga not even president anymore. So yeah, it is that. I mean, with the whole riding shit. Uh, well, like I said before, I know, like, somewhere mid-between, I kind of got political in this video, and <laughs> immediately I made political videos in the past, but all bullshit aside, though, uh, I try to keep, uh, I try to be really apolitical here, not more so because I don't want hurt any feelings, because really I don't give half a shit, it's just more so, that's not, the, the, the demographic of this channel, of my channel, aren't really political. They're, you know, just Joe Schmoes like me. You know, people just like TV shows and want to talk about shit and like drawing and all that. And, you know, that's pretty much what this channel is. It's, it's all about love, bro, and art and, you know, talking about movies and shit. That's what it really is all is. It, it's all love here, bro. It ain't about that politics shit. It tends to divide people, for, for real. Although I think her defense is a bit more race and more class related than actually political. I mean, <laughs> if you want to be coy about it, uh, fuck Democrats and Republicans. Fuck Democrats because, you know, they think too much with their emotions and they put feelings before rational thoughts and, 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 and you know, endeavors and shit. And, and fuck a lot of Republicans because a lot of them are legitimately racist and actually sexist, aside from, you know, some of the shit people actually do, that uh, a lot of these uh, women out here like to call them for. But yeah, you know, fuck all that shit. It's just, this channel is really, for the most part, just positive. I try to keep a little more, you know, white humor, you know, because, you know, uh, mm, Life kind of sucks. <laughs> or is the, living is naturally hell. You got to work to put a smile on. But, yeah, that's the whole thing I'm just saying. So, you know, I try to keep all that shit outside. I mean, here and there, you know, all that political shit kind of like might, like, you know, sliver through the crevices, which is this YouTube 
uh, channel and, and some of my videos and shit. But for the most part, I try to suspend that shit from all of this going on. So yeah, this that. Uh, personally, for the whole riot, the whole writing thing, uh, some people still totally will disagree with me with this, especially you know people I hang with and shit. But uh, personally, I, got, I actually got mixed feelings about all this writing shit. Like. At the same time, I understand what's going on. I mean, you know, history kind of repeats itself. I mean, look at the French Revolution and look at, you know, the the, the Russian Revolution when they overthrew uh, uh, Nicholas II. Uh, if I think that's Nicholas II, you know, revolution it's 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 natural, and simply we're just going through our <laughs> damn. <laughs> This be like our fifth one, <laughs> you know, but I ain't trying to like pull up the old textbook here. But yeah, it's like I mean, you know, by by random, you know, you do the math. It's like fifth, fourth, technically semi revolution we got going on. Although personally, I think it's a little aimless at times because you know I think like you know some of the people should actually take the fight to you know more or less the one actually running all this shit. You know all that. You know what I'm saying. I mean, like I ain't condoning it. I mean, I, I ain't condoning it because you know, like legitimately, you know, some people are kind of like living in fear all the right and shit. So you know, I can see. I, I I like to see both sides of something. It, it's some things aren't absolute. You know what I'm saying. It's always two sides of something. Uh, uh, shit like this is like a nickel. It, it can go either way. So you know that's what I'm saying. But at the same time, I'm like you know. Waiting for the world to change. De -de 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 -de. Waiting for the world to change, and that's pretty much what all this shit is. But yeah, like you know, like niggas are sick of being oppressed, you know, being murdered like fucking dogs in the street. So I can see why people's doing the shit they do, but at the same time, you know, like I don't know, like legitimately, it's just. I don't know. Just not really the one for conflict, I guess. I don't know. I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some shit really need to like change, bro. Like for the fucking best. Like in terms of the ethics and race and shit. But at the same time, like, I can, I, I know some people just don't want to live, you know, in a world like this. Like, you know, how shit is. At the same time, you know, I'm kind of in the middle about shit. And I've always been kind of like a neutral type of person. I never always have really an, an absolute opinion about something. But pretty much this is my whole thing about the whole riding and shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Like like in terms of, like, you know, what's been going on currently. I mean, it's gone to the point where some people thought like Trump was a fucking fascist. Although, uh, no, the fuck he ain't. <laughs> I mean... Okay, Trump is so bad, but yeah, Joe Biden literally actually has uh, actually made racial remarks that are actually recorded. So, you know, everyone is so pressed to get Trump out, but Biden really ain't better. And, you already know, we got fucking Kamala Harris hands shoved up his fucking ass like he's a damn uh, puppet. So, you know, you know, a uh, uh, I mean, some people say it's a lesser two evils, but really, I just say tomato, fuck motherfucking tomato. Like, you know, that's just how I kind of think and all that shit. But, yeah, that's about, that's about all the current shit that's been going on. Like, I literally actually had to do my last job, like, over over Zoom. Like, my summer job. I literally had to do that shit over Zoom. Like, that's literally how fucking just... Worrisome, this uh, whole uh, quarantine stuff has gotten since all that time and all that. I mean, in terms of movies, I mean, nothing I really could think about. I mean, the only thing that I actually saw currently was like Wonder Woman, which I actually might make a review on later in the future. But yeah, uh, because we actually got to talk about that film. It, it, that, the film, I mean, I want to say it made me think, but. I know my particular uh, unpopular opinion. It's it must be said, I guess. Like like certain critiques about something needs to be said, and pretty much that's just why I got. That's pretty much just my take on it. 
Uh, it, it, some things have to just be said, bro. That's the only way shit's going to change. So, you know, that's what I'm just saying about that concept. I mean, <laughs> I know I said I was going to review Ruby's uh, Volume 7, but uh, really, um, due to, you know, again, current affairs, I'm, I end up actually, like, reviewing uh, Volume 8 by the end of by the end of next week, or <laughs> we might get around to it next February. I mean, quite frankly, I ain't really worried about it. Uh, worried about it, but you know, when it when it happens, it happens and shit. You know, like uh, uh, comic books ain't any fucking better. I mean, not Starfire or whatever the fuck this shit is. Uh, it's totally out of question, and I think that's why. American comic books, but mostly comic books in the West, are really getting raped by fucking mangas right now. Because, you know, at least, you know, those people actually kind of care about, you know, actually making comic books instead of just, you know, little personal political beliefs. Like, again, you kind of have to think rational when you do some shit, especially when writing or, or anything for that. Like, you kind of have to be, like, rational. Like, not coy, but rational. Like, you gotta like really set your fucking opinions aside and really worry about something, worry about what's really important. Like, will someone buy our merchandise? Will people uh, buy our comics? And pretty much that, pretty much that uh, situation fits what's going on with the current comic book industry, manga cub, western, etc. Any of that shit. Well, yeah, that's, that's pretty much on that concept. I mean, apparently Demon Slayer. They had a movie once, and it uh, and uh, it beat uh, Spirit Away, which was the most uh, highly grossed film in Japan, and so uh, good for them, I guess. But yeah, that's that's pretty much my my little take on it. So it just gave me a fucking message. But yeah, um, on that shit, I mean, in terms of video games, uh, really, I don't really keep up anymore because, quite frankly, I don't really have a console. I mean, unless if you saying I'm just like mooching off someone else, then yeah, then yeah, I do have a console. But in terms of video games, uh, really, I'm just waiting for some sh some shit to come out. Uh, Cause you know the whole cyberpunk thing, uh, you know, yeah, that's uh, something I was kind of curious about, and when it actually came out, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah it was something, for lack of better words, it was something. Uh, so yeah, that that tells all that. Like, I mean, like you know, I might like like again, you know, like for more more like update thing or I'll be up to aspect of this video. Like you know, when I actually get around to some shit, you know what I'm saying. Uh, eventually, you might see a Wonder Woman eighty four review. Uh, pretty much one of my favorite anime is coming out this year with its final arc. I'll just give you those little context clues. So, you know, when that comes out, you know, I'm bound to talk about that. Uh, heard Shaman King is coming back. I'm like, uh, that's kind of awesome. I mean, I kind of saw the trailer. It didn't look all kitty. It looks more faithful to the comic. So, I guess it's good for anyone who likes Shaman King. Personally, I don't dislike it. I just never really got around to it. I mean, so congratulations on that aspect. I mean, I don't really look at anime like that. Uh, the Promise Neverland Season 2 is great. Uh, although, <laughs> with Season 2 first episode, I uh, kind of have some questions to say. Kind of like how plot armored these characters got literally after they got off Grace Veil. Like, you know, eventually you'll see, we'll see or you'll like see like a rant or something from me coming out there so. So, yeah, uh, hold on to your ass, I guess, when it comes out and shit. Uh, mostly on TV shows, like, caught up with the boys. That's great. I mean, it's kind of a better, more spoof on, on superheroes than My Hero Academia, which, quite frankly, from re from getting updated with the current manga, it, okay, it didn't get bad, but it didn't get the, 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 the storytelling and shit from what I've heard like you know when I'm you know push some pages around and shit you know I heard uh, a lot happened but at the same time 
none of it really actually fucking matters in the long run. And really, again, the storytelling really just doesn't get any better. Like, it really just hits a, a wall at this point, you know, in terms of shit. So, yeah, there's that. So, you know, yeah, that's pretty much about it. You know, like, a lot of shit's been going on with this, uh, this um, uh, last year and shit. Um, had niggas running around with their heads, uh, uh, running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Uh, we lost a lot of good peeps this year, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, a lot of shit is coming out of the wet work, you know, a lot of reboots and shit, you know, coming out. Uh, pretty much the whole comic industry has been shifting back and forth recently, you know, shit. It's just a lot of shit going on, bro. And just seems like just time just waits for no man, cause it seems like everything is like a fucking it's like one of those knobs on the stove, like when you turn turn it all the way to like max heat and you tear the knob off. That's kind of how shit just been, like shit just just going, it's just running, no control, everything is just going. Don't know where you're going, something. But yeah, you know, and you know, keep out updates about like future rants and. A skeptical analysis and shit that might come from you know me and this channel and shit. It's pretty much all I gotta say about it. In twenty twenty years, at the end it kind of sucks, bro. Like I ain't I ain't a believer of like revolution, New Year's revolution, shit like that. Of course not, and all that stuff. I, I ain't a believer of that. But uh, and again, you know, shit's gonna get worse before it get better. But at the same time, I don't blame anyone who want to expect better like they want to see shit finally like come to an end or shit change and quite frankly that's that's one of my little personal wishes that we can at least get out this year like you know for shit to finally turn at least if not get better then at least turn into a a different direction that's fair for the most part so it is all that bro you know you already know the drill man like and subscribe if you like shit like this, or I just like just be chatting about movies and cartoons and what may have you, you know, uh, subscribe to hear more stuff from me and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, keep your eye out for anything I, bought, I might be making. You know, everyone just be safe and all that and shit. You know, whole Pride Boys and, and the raiding of the White House and all that bullshit going on. So, you know, yeah, yeah I'll be safe, man. I'll be safe. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment down below how y'all probably felt about 2020. You know, anything, bro. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, the Adam Storm is watching y'all.